88.5 JFM, the Lifeline Morning Show. I'm Stephen. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You know, every now and then I get the chance to sit down with some of our artists. Now, these are people that are going through life just like us. You hear their voices all the time, but rarely do you get to find out what's going on in their lives. And so I, I love doing this. Now, this morning, I get to bring to you... Uh, a lady that I've been hearing from for, whoa, most of my life. <laughs> I remember back in the year <laughs> 2000 that uh, she was just coming out with her first single. And Rachel, let me tell you that I have heard your voice for such a long time, and it is really a blessing for me to be able to interview you right now. How are you today? Oh, my gosh. I'm so honored. Thank you for saying that. Um, yeah. I'm doing so good. I always get, I always get a little, like jarred when i hear the the the, the year 2000 <laughs> because <laughs> right. that's not supposed to be the past like that's that's just supposed to be the future like the year 2000 <laughs> was 23 years ago yeah and that it just blows me away <laughs> <sighs> rachel we're getting old it's yeah, not a we, good we really are it's not a good idea yeah. is it but the year 2000 yeah, not good. I, I remember y2k all that stuff <laughs> we were all you know gearing oh, up yeah. for uh, you know everything was going to shut down but Anyway, you were uh -huh. 14 when you brought out your first single, and I remember listening yeah. to it in my car on my way to junior college. That's the year I graduated was 2000, so that next fall I was headed, okay. headed to college, but I've heard uh, countless songs from you, and I know that you were huge at such a young age, and here you are still mm -hmm. doing music. You never quite left it, but tell me a little bit about what's going on these days. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's been a, it's been such a such a journey i mean you know i i was pretty full-on when i was 14 to the time uh, till i was about 21 i was recording and touring and doing the whole thing um and then when i hit 21 i was sort of burnt out and needed to kind of say no to some things and say yes to some new things and just kind of like you said like i never really left music but i sang background for artists i did a i did a acapella TV show <laughs> called the sing off. Yes. I did. Um, I, I nannied, like I just kind of did everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, part of that was, was, um, helping to start a nonprofit with my family called people loving Nashville here in Nashville. And, um, we work with people that are unhoused, that are incarcerated, that are in just hard transitions of their life. Um, and, um, really for the past, you know, 15 years been focusing on that. Um, and so last year I, you know, I was spending time with these, uh, well, not last year, sorry, a few years ago, spending time with these women in prison and started, um, started writing this song for them and, um, ended up, uh, asking Toby Mac to join me on it. And, um, his wife actually comes into the, the, the women's prison with me and, um, and helps teach and stuff like that. And so he, I, I wanted him to be part of it because I was like, you know, these girls, you know, why I'm writing this song, you know, the story behind this song. Um, would you do it with me? And he was like, of course. And so that's how that came about. And I kind of just found myself back, back here again. <laughs> I honestly wasn't planning. I wasn't like planning my reentry. I, I was like, you know, eight months pregnant when this all started like <laughs> happening. And so I was like, it's not the greatest timing, but that, <laughs> but it was perfect timing for Jesus yeah. and his plan. And, um, so it's been really fun. I got you. Now let's talk a little bit about that family because, Hey, it's been growing. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit yes. about your two little boys. Yeah. So I have a six year old little guy in first grade doing all the first grade things. It's <laughs> cracking me up. Like it's been the funniest time of my life. Just, his little new little things, his little sentences and his little phrases that he comes home with. I'm like, okay, all right. Um, and then I have a almost 10 month old boy. He has down syndrome. He is the most joyful little, I mean, literally like I'm away from him right now and I just want to go upstairs and go just squeeze him. <laughs> He's yeah. just like the most addictive little thing. He's just great. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, like we're just in this really sweet, snuggly time of of life um with the family um and then we're we're just opposing that with touring and having to leave them and having to figure all that out and it's been um it, it's been a whole you know a whole journey yeah. trying to figure out the balance of all that so i got you and you're no stranger to touring because you did it for years and years and i know that 
at one point it's like like you said i just had to step away and figure some things out i completely get that yeah. but i'm so glad to see that you're back now and you're touring on this big feelings tour you're going to be with andrew rip and yeah. blessing offer i know you'll be in huntsville coming up november 12th at mars music hall really looking forward to that show and looking forward to hearing you live i never got the chance so back in the day so now oh, I, yeah. I get to come and see you live yeah <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, well, and and it's good because you guys are on the later part of the tour, so we'll we'll have worked through all of our weird stuff. We'll right. be we'll be totally ready for you guys. <laughs> I got you. Got you. Wow. So we're really looking forward to it. What can we expect to hear from you uh, on this tour? You know, this tour is is like a family tour. So Andrew is like family to me. His um, he's our neighbor. He's um, we we see each other probably three to four times a week. I'm I'm the godmother of his kid. He's the Godfather of my kid, and we're <laughs> always doing life together. <laughs> so there will be a lot of that feeling, you know, of just like being, you know, just family vibes. Um, Blessing is like my favorite new friend. He, um, he's just like the most real and personable guy. Um, I feel like there's going to be a, well, I know there's going to be a lot of collaboration. We're going to be singing together a lot, doing a lot of stuff um, together, and singing some new stuff, some old stuff. Um, just kind of mixing it all up and seeing where it takes us. Awesome. Now, I know it's been a while since you were kind of out there, at least in the Christian world, you know, with, with everybody who's hot right now. Back in the early 2000s, a little different. You had people, what, like, uh, For Him was still big around that time. You had um, other ones like <laughs> yeah. F FFH was huge. I'm just trying to remember some of yep, these. That's, that's right. about the time that uh, Avalon. Avalon, oh, and they did kind of a revival, <laughs> too, which was kind of they cool did, to yep. see. Yeah. So uh, uh -huh. what's it like in today's industry um, with with all the, the leading artists out there? How have you seen it change or how is it still the same? What do you think? I think it's just gotten wider. I think like the the dynamic is is so much bigger now. You hear, you know, you hear worship out of nowhere on the radio, which is so fun because it's like, when do you not need worship to, yeah. to interrupt your day? <laughs> <laughs> when is that ever a bad thing? <laughs> right. Um, but there's also a lot of, you know, a lot of space for like new, like kind of soulful hip hop artists and there's space for, you know, big vocals and more singer songwriter vocals. I think like, I think everybody is finding a way to speak about love and truth and, um, just God's, God's word, you know, in different ways and, and speaking to different people, finding different people in different ways. Um, which was always my hope, you know, was that we would, <clears throat> that we would grow deeper and wider as a community of believers. Um, and especially in the music business, because, um, you know, it, it, again, like, just like worship, it's like, when do we not need a song to interrupt our day that is about truth and hope and life and joy. And, um, so, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited that it's, it's come, it's come so far. I, I am too. I really enjoy getting to sit here and play this music for everybody, bring them some inspiration, some encouragement. And I know you've got story after story of how your music has touched people's lives, but I know that our time is drawing short here. You've got another interview lined up. So let me go ahead and just say thank you again for carving out some time for us. It really means a lot that you, you do that for us. So thank you. Oh man, it means the world to me. Thank you for getting behind all of this and um, I'm just excited that we get to we get to all see each other soon. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Uh, so our best to your family, and we'll see you in November. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.